Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, thanks for tuning in to another video. Uh, a bit of a custom job here again. Um, I sort of did put a couple, a couple of shots on uh, Instagram yesterday and uh, decided I want to put a video together. Um, so if you remember last year, 2020, we did get this amazing pack of these three clones featuring uh, Echo, Jesse and Fives. Um, so it was... You know, they were amazing figures. They they are amazing figures. And I think, like most Star Wars collectors, I was pretty disheartened that uh, the Captain Rex that was getting released was just a simple repack of the uh, 2014 Black Series uh, figure as opposed to, you know, bringing up to this sort of standard here that we see here. Um, so I did have a couple of act extra action figures um, and... I'll put them on the screen. This is basically the recipe that I used for these figures. Um, so yeah, uh, I had the Captain Rex that I spoke of from the 2014 Black series, um, an extra animated Rex from the Clone Wars. Uh, they did release him initially without any knee articulation and it was, you know, the fans sort of argued against it and Hasbro put out a better version with articulated knees, which at the time was was kind of a big deal so um so we we're grateful for that so and of course i had an extra um arc trooper fives from the vintage collection because i did get him single carded as well so basically i'm going to go over and show you how i came to get this so i will get these three guys out of the way i'll just push them to the back a little bit there So basically, what I have here is, from the animated Clone Wars uh, Rex, is just the helmet. Uh, in terms of the body, the whole body is from Echo. Uh, the, fort, the, the Karma here is from Rex, uh, the, the 2014 Black Series Rex. The Karma, the holsters, this belt piece, that's from him. The bottom legs, the bottom of the legs, so from the from the knees down and from the elbows to the hands are also from that Rex. You kind of just see the difference in the blues there, which to me isn't actually a big deal. I'm not fussy about that at all. Um, I know a lot of people would be clamoring to sort of match all the paint so that it is the same as these three guys back here as well. Um, but for the most part, it's pretty damn close. And uh, for my personal use, you know, in my collection, this works just fine. I'm, I'm happy to have this Rex now in my vintage collection, sort of three and three quarter inch. Um, this will tide me over until Hasbro eventually get to doing a new one. Now I did attempt to reuse the the fives uh, head sculpt underneath and sort of shave it down, shave his hair down because he does have. You know, if I just Bring him over. So I did try really hard with an X-Acto knife. Um, other people may be able to have better luck at it than me, but I took off his goatee. I uh, was able to remove the five off his head and sort of shave down his head. Uh, the problem that I then encountered was that this helmet here, when I started hollowing it out, it was actually not quite you know, it was made differently to these. So when it started getting to the hollow parts, it started getting a, a little bit too thin and just wasn't big enough for the head. Um, cause if I just uh, take one of these, I'll put it side by side so you can get a closer look. If I keep, stop knocking things over, that'd be great too. Um, so you can kind of see there's a little bit of extra, extra room in the helmet here, um, particularly with that sort of front of the helmet. And, uh, yeah, definitely just, it's, it's f fractional, but it's there. Um, and the way these are molded, they're, um, they're actually really well done to fit a head sculpt, whereas hollowing that out was, was tough work. Um, it took me a long time and I gave it my best shot. I really wanted to have a, uh, Rex with a removable helmet, but, uh, not this time, sadly. Uh, so I did end up, before I got too far into the helmet and damaged it, I did just glue it on the head anyway. Um, 
so it can still pop it off and you can sort of see the head under there and what I was able to do with it um, so I probably wouldn't have done that again uh, I would have just made made the head uh, fit but uh, the bonus was that the uh, head sculpt fitted the neck anyway so it kind of uh, meant I didn't really need to do any sort of uh, neck neck work there either so uh, the other thing I did is this Rex came with the animated Rex came with a rangefinder on the helmet that wasn't posable it was molded on so I just I think I used a two mil drill bit and I just hand drilled it out the side there it may have even been smaller than two mil um, so with this bare helmet I was able to just pop out the rangefinder and uh, pop that straight in it was a nice fit and now we have a functional rangefinder for this three and three quarter inch Rex uh, the, the shoulder pauldron here I did actually glue that on uh, just to just to keep it in place I actually glued all these on too as well just because they were quite loose and wobbly um, but again that's just my personal preference now the one trick with the knees is that with these new with these new clone troopers the knee the knee armor is actually sculpted onto the thigh and not not the shin so you can sort of see that joint there so that's sort of just when you bend that knee, that kneecap joint sort of, that kneecap armor sort of just stays there on the thigh. Uh, whereas Rex from the Black Series 2014 had that, uh, had the knee joint into the bottom. So uh, it was a straight, basically um, boil and pop. You know, so you hold your fingers in boiling water, you pull the joint out and then swap it over. And while I still need to clean this up a little bit, I was able to just sort of shave that knee off there so it so it fits fits the Rex knee. And when he's standing straight and it's the karma sort of wrapped around there, it's barely noticeable. So I may just uh, get the exacto and just tidy that up. Maybe the Dremel just to sand it down a little bit. Um, so that was able to give Rex, you know, his legs. And the main reason I did the swap, obviously, you know his legs are completely different but uh, the, the tally marks there you know on his arms as well I didn't really really have to go into deep repainting like that so I don't really know what else to say but uh, also I did just get a silver sharpie and just sort of run those weld lines down there I know that's not the most it's not the prettiest um, but again, for me, it does the trick and then just went over it with a black marker as well just to sort of rough up that line a little bit. Get it looking a little bit darker like it is a uh, it is a weld mark. So basically, it's uh, nice to have a Rex that fits better with these guys. Uh, you know, it, it takes a little bit of work. But uh, I had some spare figures so I thought I'd give it a crack. So now I can have the have all the 501st boys together, and they look, you know, I can have Rex at the front like you should be. So in terms of explaining what else to do with this figure, um, I think I've pretty much covered it. Um, there were a few other things I probably could have done. Uh, but yeah, I think I've pretty much covered everything. I did glue that belt down as well onto the sort of abdomen there um, because the Rex didn't have that sort of torso joint either. So that was the bonus of getting the joint from this, from this clone here is um, having that extra torso joint. And having having be able to move, and uh, yeah, he has dropped the blaster. But um, I'm I'm really stoked with this one. I hope Hasbro get get into shape and uh, get the Rex out that we deserve. Um, that Rex deserves as a character too. Might I, might I add? It's not not so much the collectors. It's uh, you know, they wouldn't half ass. You don't want to half ass your your, your main characters like Rex. He's got a big cult following. And, uh, yeah, it's 
I'm, I'm just really happy with this figure. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Drop them in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. That would be absolutely awesome. I don't do a lot of customizing, but uh, when I do, I like to, uh, I do try my best to share it. And uh, I need to sort of plan ahead next time and maybe just document it as I'm doing it as well. So there we have it. Thank you very much for watching guys. Until next video, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.